guys naturally marked here welcome or welcome back to my channel before we get into this video i see you see me so i want to see you press subscribe and become part of the fam bam before we get into this video i like to give a whoop whoop to Kayla brown you were the first to comment on one of my videos so girl i see you see me so i want people to see you so whoop whoop to you so you okay hey guys today's video is going to be me showing you how i'm gonna wash this curl smith curl temporary curl um temporary curls the curl smith temporary color out of my hair so today i'm going to be using the Shan moisture baby raw and argan oil shampoo with the main and tail deep conditioner and also the main and tail regular conditioner so what i'm going to be doing is just rinsing out my hair with warm water and as you guys can see the product is already rinsed off of my hair the bottle claims that you can get all of the product out of your hair in one wash and from just me rinsing my hair with warm water as you can see from the right side to the left side it actually washed out pretty fast so i am just going to apply the shampoo to my hair from root to tip so that i can get the color out of my braids like I said, I've never seen anybody apply this color to their hair or if anybody had braids in their hair. So I had to make sure that I thoroughly washed my hair from root to tip to get that color out of my braids. And honestly, it came right out. It really washed out in one wash. I didn't have to follow up with like a third or fourth shampoo. And this is also my first shampoo for my mini braids. Um, if you don't know, this is my real hair and I have a lot of new growth. I'm not sure when I'm going to be rebraiding my hair, but this is my hair is not weave or anything. So the temporary color coming out of my hair, it was great. Like my hair was not dry or it didn't feel crunchy after I used this product. I know it said it was a gel, but Seriously, the Curlsmith temporary color, I'm not I'm not hyping it up. Like if you really want to play with a color wax, I would highly suggest using one of these Curlsmith temporary hair colors because it did not leave my hair like crunchy. I didn't feel like my ends was damaged. I didn't feel like my hair needed extra deep conditioning treatments after applying this product. The smell wasn't horrible. It, it actually smelled like a light flower scent. It wasn't a harsh flower scent, but I mean, that's just what I was picking up out of it. But as you guys can see, like the shampoo is a little orange tint, but after washing the shampoo out of my hair, I had no orange tint when I applied my deep conditioner or my leave-in conditioner. So you guys, I am going to let you guys watch me apply my deep conditioner and then I'll pop back in here to explain what I'm doing next. And sorry for my camera kind of getting a little foggy. It's becoming fall and it's like the heat and the air in the bathroom is starting to make my camera fog up really bad. So sorry. Okay, so I will apply my deep conditioner to my hair 
Like I said, this is the first time I'm washing my hair. My braids have been in for a month at this point, and this is the first time, like I said, of me washing my hair. So I needed to do a deep conditioning treatment just for the sake of my hair, just putting that moisture back into my hair. And after I wash out my deep conditioner, I did allow my deep conditioner to sit for about 15 minutes or so in my hair. So I just kind of cleaned up the shower and kind of messed with my phone. That's what I do because I hate getting out of the shower when I'm dripping wet. So I'm going to thoroughly wash that deep conditioner out of my hair, making sure that it gets out of my scalp, off of my braids, and then I will follow up with my oil and my leave-in conditioner which is the main and tail you can use this as a conditioner or a leave-in conditioner so that's what i really love about the main and tail products especially this particular conditioner because it's multi-use so i like to squeeze that product into my braids making sure that i'm kind of getting the water out of my braids and then also squeezing that product into my hair after I um, put the mane and tail in my hair. Then I like to follow that up with my DIY. I don't want to call it a growth oil because it's not a growth oil, but it's a DIY oil. It really helped my hair stop shedding. That's what it did. Like going through postpartum shedding, this oil that I made really stopped my hair from shedding. My hair was falling out, you guys. So I will leave that video of how I make this oil down below. And after I apply my oil to my scalp and throughout the length of my braids, I will follow up with my DIY whipped shea butter. And then I will just apply that to the length of my braids and making sure that I focus on my ends because I want my ends to curl up and be super hydrated because with my mini braids, I do wear them down sometime and if my hair is down i like my hair to be protected and weighed down with very hydrating products which are mainly butters so my ends don't get split or have a whole bunch of single strand knots but once again with my with my braids i really don't get that problem like i do with my mini twist and then for the most part i don't wear them down but i will wear them down occasionally so just got to have that protection with that thick butter on the ends of your hair. And then you guys, the end result, I was quite shocked. My hair did not revert like it normally do when I have my micro mini braids in. Like my hair will revert so bad and it will be half the length. But with these bigger braids, my hair stayed the same length and I was really, really shocked. So... I'm going to show you guys my curls really quick and then show you guys the end result of what my hair looks like dry and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. So this is my wash day routine for my mini braids and the next week I will not be using shampoo so I'll show you guys what I do to my mini braids when I'm not using shampoo because if you don't know I do wash my hair every other week no every week but every other week i will not use a shampoo i will use some type of non-harsh shampoo or some type of diy shampoo so i will show you guys what i will be using in my hair for the days for the weeks that i'm not using shampoo so i did leave my plastic bag on my head just to hydrate my hair a little bit more for about three hours and then i took the plastic bag off i put tied my hair rag on and I made sure that my braids were straight and this is my hair a hundred percent dry making sure that my braids were straight I think that's what helped my hair retain a lot of the length because I pulled my braids and made sure that they were not crinkled so this is what my scalp looks like it's completely shiny it's completely free of dandruff and my edges is just laid naturally I didn't swoop de doop 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 them I didn't do it to them. They didn't need it. They need to be protected right now. We're trying to get our postpartum edges back, y'all. Like, we're trying to get them grown in thick. And we don't need to be swoop de doop in them nowhere, okay? So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you give this a try or if you have any braids in your hair right now, please leave comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.